Hello everyone, it's the Upform team over here, and today we're just going to go over this really cool feature of JotForm. Now as you guys might know, JotForm is an online form creation tool that helps you just create different kinds of online forms or questionnaires without any coding involved whatsoever. And since it's online, users are safe from the hassle of downloading and installing software. But what if I told you that JotForm has other sorts of features in addition to their form creation? Now, right now, as you can see, we are just on the homepage of JotForm, and what I want to talk about today is this other feature called JotForm Tables. Now, in order to access JotForm Tables, let's just head to that page. So first, you're going to want to go to the upper left side of the screen. Let me just move this so you get a better picture of that. There we go. And as you can see, beside the JotForm website link, there is a drop-down menu on, beside the word My Forms. Now, if you were just to hit that, you can see that there is this new, or not new, new different sort of feature called My Tables. Now, if you were to hit that button, you can see that you're brought to this new page where JotForm basically allows you to create tables. But what exactly is a table? JotForm Tables is basically their version of a spreadsheet, but with a little bit more spice added to it. So through JotForm Tables, you can collect, organize, and manage data in an all-in-one workspace. You can share it in one click with seamless collaboration and basically transform your data into a powerful workspace in mere seconds. Now, as you can see, we don't currently have a table up, but because we did have a form up, a table actually automatically forms as a result. But in this case, we want to kind of get into creating a table from scratch. So let's just hit that create table button as you saw a while ago and from here you're going to be given options to create a blank table, a template, or you can even import data. So in this case, let's just open up a template just so we have something quick and hit the first one that we want to see. So let's just go for project tracker. Now once you've hit the use template button, you will see that you are not only given a pretty quick introduction, introductory video to jot from tables, but you're also brought to this template itself. Now. Just for the sake of this video, we are going to go over some of the features of JotForm tables. Now, one of the great things about JotForm tables is that they can summarize rows of information for you pretty automatically. So if you were to hover your mouse over any of these different rows, if you were to hit the view button, you would see all the information from this row, this third row in this case, summarized for you on the right side right here. You can even browse through the rest of the other information using these up and down buttons. And it would bring you up and down the many options of this table. Next, we also have this interesting feature from JotForm where we can edit different columns of information. So as you can see, different columns kind of give you different types of data. Under the brainstorming column, we have this sort of like option for drop down options, which you can then input into each corresponding row. In this case, let's try editing this entire column. So if you were to hit the arrow button beside the column you want to edit, if you were to look around, you can then see you can actually edit column preferences through this button near the bottom. So let's just hit that button. As you can see, you can even then choose which options you want to add manually. There's no coding involved here. You simply just have to add your option, rearrange it if you want so that one appears on top of the other when it drops down. You can even set different colors for options, set the default selected value. And once you've made any corresponding changes you wanna make, all you gotta do is hit apply changes and it will happen on the table itself. There was no coding involved whatsoever. It was just a matter of hitting a few buttons and just like that, you have your edited column already finished. And let's say you need more pages than just the one task page. JotForm easily kind of keeps all your pages together right here in the upper hand corner. And as you can see, adding pages, or in this case tabs, is pretty easy. You just hit the add tab button, choose whichever kind of tab you want to add. As you can see, JotForm is able to summarize your information in different forms, whether it's through tables, calendars, cards, uploads, and reports. So let's say we want to add another calendar, just hit that next button. We can even connect that new tab into a pre-existing form or have something blank. Just for this case, let's just have it blank. Since we don't actually have a form up yet. You can even have a name. For project tracker. Hit that create button and voila, you already have another page for this. Now, just for your sake, 
um, depending on whatever information you currently have or whatever information you're trying to summarize and combine, these five options are always available for you to use. Just be sure that you choose the right one depending on what you need. So obviously calendars differ from tables, cards differ from reports, whatever it is, just make sure you're using the right table or else your information won't be summarized correctly. So let's say that you've finished everything you wanted about this table, everything's already been finalized, and you want to share this with someone else. You head to the upper right but corner of this page, you're going to see the share button. All you got to do is hit that, and you're then brought to this pop-up page where you can then create a link, an invitation link in this case, for other people to see your table. You can even invite them by email where you just have to input their email and the link will be automatically sent to them. Now, depending on your share settings, that will also determine who is able to see your table and what they can do once they've been given the link. So in this case, you can actually create privacy options where if you create a private table, it will only be available to invited people, a public table where everyone can access as read only, and comp company access where only available people in your organization can see your table. Next, you're also able to, to determine what default role they can take should they access the table using the corresponding link so you can make sure that users can only read it, comment on it, or perhaps even edit it directly as a collaborator. You can also apply limitations where you can show the print button, button show the download button, or set custom expiration date for the share link so that at one point the link will close for them. So once you've made all of these edits, you can then copy the link and send it to whoever you need to or actually just send your email address and it'll share the corresponding link as you can see here with the options you want. And that's all we have to say for job form tables. Hopefully this helps you better manage your business website and maybe you might start thinking about using job form and its many features for your own campaigns. Thank you so much for watching our video. Be sure to like and subscribe and if you need any more help with using other form creation tools, check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner of this video or any of the links below. See you next time!